In this week's episode, big news for World Heritage Sites, protection for pygmy sloths, a great white comeback, and find out why this crazy dude is swimming in croc-infested waters. All this and more, this is your Two Minute Roundup. The Okavango Delta in northwest Botswana, one of the most iconic natural areas on the planet, has been named the 1000th UNESCO World Heritage Site. This is great news for the Delta's wildlife, which is now protected for future generations to enjoy. In more UNESCO news, the organization has unanimously rejected the Australian government's request to reopen 74,000 hectares of Tasmania's World Heritage Area to logging. Australia argued that the land was degraded anyway, but the proposal was discarded in less than 10 minutes. Heading to North America and some great news for Great Whites. Studies are showing that populations of these sharks are surging after years of decline, all thanks to intensive conservation efforts in the area. For more ocean news, check out Wild Watch on earthtouchnews.com. This week, we've got dolphin bullies, a swordfish attack, and a whole lot more. Off to Panama and the squee of the week. The U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service announced that the world's rarest, smallest, and let's face it, cutest sloth could deserve protection under the Endangered Species Act. The pygmy three-toed lives only on the tiny Isla Escudo de Veraguas, and as few as 79 are thought to be left in the wild. Heading to a colder climate where scientists have found an interesting way to track penguin migrations by studying their poop via satellites. There's evidence that part of the Point Geology Colony, made famous by the March of the Penguins documentary, may have moved to new breeding grounds because of rising global temperatures. Studying the brown stains may help us help them. Sticking with birds, the American Bird Conservancy is suing the Obama administration over a new federal rule that could threaten already vulnerable populations of bald and golden eagles. The rule allows wind energy companies to obtain 30-year permits to kill or injure eagles without fear of prosecution. Wind turbines kill millions of birds every year. And we're wrapping up with a bit of cray-cray. This is Jay Azren of Swaziland's Royal Jazini Game Reserve, and he's going to swim more than two kilometers across the croc and hippo-infested waters. Why, you ask? Well, it's all for the anti-rhino poaching cause. We'll be covering every inch of this life-threatening swim, so be sure to check back for updates. That's it for this week. Don't forget to get in touch with us via the website, Facebook, and Twitter. Until next time.